I start recording. Now you see the board, right? Yeah. And you hear me? Yeah. Okay, guys. Today we have this lesson, guys. Solving ratio problems, page 37. Now, leave the book, put it beside, and focus here with me. Leave the book and focus here on the screen, please. All of you focus, guys. This is introduction to understand the lesson. Now, if you do understand this introduction very well, you will understand the lesson very well. So please focus with me. We have easy things here to understand. Just it needs a little bit focus. Now, if you have two fractions, two fractions equal to each other, see, we have fraction, fraction, and equal between them. Here, fraction, fraction, equal between them. We can make something, we call it cross product, cross product. Now to do cross product and focus guys, after a few minutes, no one asked me how Mr. we do cross product. So focus here. To do cross product, we start with the numerator here, two, multiplied with the six, huh. two, multiply with six, equal, put it down, now, the denominator down, multiply with the 3 here, cross, 4 multiply 3. Now, because we have equal, these, are should be, should, these two sides should be two, uh, equal, 2 times 6 is 12, equal 4 by 3 12 also. This we call it cross product, cross product. Now, leave this one, I will back for it a few minutes later. Now, come back here. We have something, we call it multiplication equations. Multiplication equations. Now look here. 3m equals 12. Who can tell me what's between the 3 and the m here? We have nothing. Nothing means what in math? Huh. If we have nothing between the number and the variable, what this mean, guys? Omar. Mister, it means multiplication. It means multiplication. Excellent, Omar. So if we have nothing, guys, here, it, mean, it means multiplication, as Omar said. Now, to find the value of M, guys, at this case, if we have multiply, look here. If we have multiplication, we need to do division. We took this thing at the end of the last semester. Now, we have the multiplication here, so I will divide both sides and focus here. I will divide both sides with the number which is multiplied with the variable. Here it is a three. So I will divide both sides with a three like this. Now the two threes here, they are equal, so I can cross them. And this side is still M, put it down. And the equal comes down. And here make division, 12 divided by three is four. Here is another one. 70 equals 42. Who can help me with this? Yazid. Yazid. Yes, Mr. Yazid. Yes, Mr. Talk, Mr. Quickly. Yell. 70 equals 42. Can you tell me what's between 7 and T here? 6. Here, here, here. Can you? Multiply. Multiply. If we have multiply, what we need to do? Divide. Divide. Now I will divide the both sides on which number? On 7 or on 42? On 7. On 7. So I will divide both sides on the number which is besides the variable. 7 is gone. It's still T equals. Now we divide. 42 divided by 7. Is six as Yazid said. Here, for example, eight equals four y. Eight equals four y. Yalla, who can help me with this? How we solve this equation? Yanal Muhammad. Yanal. Yes, Mr. Yanal. Yalla. How we solve this? Hello. Yes, Mr. Now we will make uh, four. 
Between four and y multiply. We have multiply here. So what we need to do? Make a division. On what? On which number we will divide? On four itself or on eight? On eight. No. No. Here, look. What's the number besides the variable? What's the number besides the variable three? So we divide on three. The number beside the variable seven. So we divide on seven. Here, where is the variable y? What's the number beside the y? Talk at me. Four. four. So we divide both sides on four. what? On four. Now four with four gone is still y here. And the equals comes down. Eight divided by four is two. So y equals two. two. Y equals two. Now this is how we solve. We call it multiplication equation. If we have multiply, we divide both sides on the number which is besides the variable. Now let's go back here on this example. Here we have two fractions, guys. Who can help me in a cross product? How we make a cross product here? Who can help? Yalla, I will choose. This is not our lesson, by the way. This is introduction, so we understand the lesson. Okay? Yalla. Who can help me? I will choose. Good, good, good. I have a lot of students here. Okay. Yell. Aysan, yell. Aysan. Yes, mister. Yell, mister. How we make cross product here? Um. From where we start? From 10 to 2. La. Uh, from uh, M to 4. From M to 4, M multiply 4. How much? How we write M multiply 4? We write it like this. No. How we write M multiply 4? How we write it? Uh, M divide 4. La, yeah, mister. La, la. M multiply by 4. How we write it? We don't write it like this. We write it for four M. Uh, M. Like this. M multiply by 4 is 4M. Four Again, m multiplied by 4 is 4m. Do not write anything. Do not write m4. No, this is wrong. 4m. This is wrong. This is correct. Okay. Now, m multiply 4, 4m. Equal comes down. Yeah. 2 multiply what, yeah, Isam? Multiply 10. 2 multiply 10. Now, how much 2 multiply 10? Who can tell? A sum come for for m equal two multiply ten how much twenty twenty now I need to find the value of m what I will do now tell me four the four divide. now I have I will divide on four it's like this right yes I will divide on four both sides cross the m, fours twenty divided by four is five five again. This is we call it cross product. This is we call it how to solve equations when we have multiplication. Any questions about these two ideas here? If you don't have a questions, remove your hand, please. Hmm. I have three students, let's receive their questions because I need you to understand these two ideas very well, guys. Yazid. Yazid, Yazid, okay, remove your hand, it's okay. Buffer, buffer, five. No one, I, I don't, yani, I don't see any hands here. So all of you, huh, shuf, it is recorded. It is recorded, guys. Huh? All of you understand these two ideas. Because there are no hands here for questions. Okay, it's up to you. Now let's go to our idea here, to our lesson. Let's go to our lesson, guys. Let's take this example here. For example, if I have two dollars, if I can buy in two dollars, I can buy five pencils. Huh. Again, in two dollars, I can buy five pencils. 
how many dollars I can use to buy 30 pencils. Again, if I have two dollars, I can buy five pencils. My question is, how much or how many dollars I need to spend to buy 30 pencils? How we deal with this? This we call it ratio problems, guys. I will say this question mark, I will replace it with a variable. Let's see M. Let's say M. Now I will make my fractions. 2 over M. 2 over M. I put equal. And here, 5 over 30. I made my ratios. Again, if I have $2, I can buy 5 pencils. How many dollars I need to spend for buying 30 pencils? What we do, guys, we make ratio here and ratio here. 2 over M, I don't know the value of this, equal 5 over 30. Now I have two ratios here. I can make what? Cross product, the first step. Yell. 2 multiply 30. Huh? 2 multiply 30. Equal comes down. M multiply 5. It is 5M, not M5. Now, next step, guys, we need to solve this. Let's multiply these two numbers first. 2 multiply 30 is 60 equals 5M. Now, to find M like this here, to find M, we need to divide both sides with the number which is besides M, which is here 5. Now, the 5s are gone. It's still here M equals. 60 divided by 5, if you make division, your answer will be a 12. Now look here, guys. M equals a 12 means here, here, M is what? We found M as a 12. Means if we have two, in $2, if we buy 5 pencils, means I need $12 to buy 30 pencils. This is the idea of this lesson. This does not exist in your book, in your lesson. This does not exist. This does not exist. All of these parts are introduction for your lesson. I did not enter the lesson yet. Nidal. Yes. Nidal. Yes, Nidal. Here. Not here. Here, I gave you the chance to ask. Here. Yell. What? I don't, I don't uh, have a, a question. Why you put your hand then? Because I want to answer and I forget. Answer what? Answer what, you mister? Did I ask something to answer it? No, I think that you will ask us. You think? You yeah. think that I will ask? Yeah. Nidal. What? Don't repeat it, okay? Okay. Now, all of you guys, open your box, page 38, all of you. Yell. All of you, open your box, page 38, quickly. I need someone to read very well. Huh. Someone to read very well. I'm not here to teach English language. I need someone to read very well. Koshak. Wait, Koshak. Guys, we are on example one, page 38. Koshak will read the example and I will read with Koshak too. We are on page 38. Let me uh, search the page, please. Yeah. Koshak, ready? Yes. Go. Yeah. Two out of three randomly selected students in, in Miss Mason's. Mason's class at Heritage. Heritage Middle School prefer cats as 
a household pet than any other pets. Good. Again, guys, I'm not here for teaching you English language. Here you need to understand the question, guys. Two out of three randomly selected students means two over three always prefer cats. Look here. Look. Two out of three adult two male home prefer cats. Again, the question said two students out of three, yani two over three, prefer what? Cats. Continue, Omar. If there are 750 students at her third middle school, how many students can be ex expected to prefer cats as a household pet? Good. The question also said, if there are 750 students in the school, how many, question mark, prefer cats? Again, this is given. If two students out of three prefer cats, if we have 750 students, how many prefer cats? This is the question. Now, if you don't understand the question, put a hand. If you don't understand the question, put a hand before I continue. Good. Good. I have two students, Ahmed Fadi or Abdul Ilah. Yalla, I'll start with Ahmed Fadi. Yes, Mr. Yes, Abdul Ahmed Fadi. Do you understand the question here? No. Read the question with me. Yalla. Two out of three randomly selected students in, in Mrs. Mason's class at Heritage Middle School prefer cats and... Bas, wait, ya Ahmed. Wait, ya Ahmed. Wait. You said two out of three prefer cats, right? Yeah, yes. Mainly prefer cats. A two or a three? Um... A two. A two prefer cats. So look here. See the board now? Yes. Do you understand this part? Yes. Good. Continue now. Down at the black board. Continue. Household pets than any other pet. If there are 750 at Heritage Middle School, how many students can be expected to prefer cats as a household. Look here, خلاص, 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 Mr. Look here. The question, the other part said, if we have 750 students, how many prefer cats? Got it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Remove your hand. Remove your hand. Remove your hand, Yamni. Now look here, guys at the solution. See the solution? All of you. We have long way solution. Long way solution. Now I will give you another way to solve this example and we will get the same answer. I will give you another way guys using the cross product which we did and using the multiplication equations which we did. Look here guys, the question mark, this one, I will replace it with a variable. Any variable, you can choose any letter. I prefer Y always. Now I will put two over three. From where I get two over three and Y over 75, these two fractions guys, from the question. From the question. Now I will put two over three equal Y over 150. Now I have two fractions and equal between them. What I need to do, guys, I will make a cross, cross product. Two, multiply 750. 
equal comes down 3 multiply y 3 multiply y we said it a few minutes ago 3y now I will make multiplication here 2 multiply 750 is 1500 make multiplication normally and this comes down also notice that equal over equal now I need to find the value of y I will divide both sides with the number which is beside the variable. Cross the threes. Here, still y. Equal comes down and make long division here. It will be 500. So, the y is how much? 500 means if 2 out of 3 refer cats, then 500 out of 750 should be preferred cats also. Now, after you see this solution, the our answer is 500, go to your book here and look down, down here, what you find. This is our answer. See it? Hope you see it. So, I summarize all of these steps, guys. Whatever these tables, I don't care. I just care about how to get the solution in easy way. Now, I want here, you should have empty space in your book. I want you to write these steps beside example one. Go. If you have the questions about example one, you can put a hand. If you have questions about example one, you can put a hand. Abdul Ilah. Mister. Yes. Mister, uh, we write this in uh, example one, yes? Did you hear me, Mister? Before? Not so much. Uh, your, uh, your voice is uh -huh. lagging. My voice is lagging. Okay. Write these steps beside example one in the space. You have a space. Sah? Yes. Yes. Write it. Sura. Oh. Okay. If you have a question, remove your hand, Yabni. If you have a questions about example one, you can ask guys before I move. Yalla, quickly. Murad. Yes, mister. Do you understand it? Yes. Bye. Amin. Yes, mister. Do you understand it? Yes. Hmm? Good. Good boys. Sir, so mute myself. What? Mute myself. Yes, mute yourself. I'm just checking some students. Abdul Sattar. Yes, Mister. Do you understand that? Yes. Good boy. Copy, guys. Copy beside the question, uh, example one. Sir, I'm going to make a check to the bottom. I think you finish. This will be recorded, guys. This is recorded. You can check it in Classera if you don't finish writing. But because I have only 10 minutes, I need to do another example. In, in under this example, we have the check question. The check question. Under this example one, we have the check. Let's read it together and solve it using our way here. Yalla, who can read? Read very well, guys. Who can read? Check under the question. <clears throat> yes, Mister. Read. A survey of randomly selected students found. Wait, wait, Yanal, 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 Yanal. Wait. By the way, this is the final answer. Two hundred twenty-five. See it? Yes. It's not written in your box, but it's written in mine. So let's figure out how this two hundred twenty-five will come. Read there now, again. A survey of randomly selected students 
found that out of every 10 students, the three said they get the, their new news from their cell phone. If they stop, stop, stop. Stop in the word for phone. Again, read again. Okay. If there are 750 students. Mr. Yanal. Yeah. Read again, I said. Okay. A survey of randomly selected students found that out of every 10 students, the three said they get their news from the cell phone. Wait. Look here, guys. Three out of 10, the three had all using their cell phones. Oh. Three out of ten using their cell phones. This is the question from the question. Continue, Yanal. Yes. If there are 750 students at Heritage Middle School, how many students can be expected to get their news from their cell phones? Good, thank you. Now, if we have 750 guys, if we have 750 students, how many students using their phones? This is our two fractions. Okay, guys? Now, I will replace this question mark and I will choose a variable and I prefer Y. The question again, if it's three students out of 10 using their cell phone, but if we have 750, how many using their cell phone? This is the question. Now, who did not understand the question before we do that, we, we, we solve it? Who did not understand the question? If you did not understand the question, put a hand, please. If you didn't understand the question, put a hand. Yazid. Yazid. Mr. Ali Lissotak. Allah is Sadak. Ali Lissotak. Yeah, Mr. I raised my hand. Yazid. Habibi Yazid. Else, if you don't have any questions, put your hands. وما فيش بالغلط هذه ما بحبهاش ما بحب هذه بالغلط أنا. If you don't have, if you understand that, let's continue now. Now, again, if three students out of ten using the cell phones, طب. If we have 750 students, how many students using their cell phone? The first step, guys, we put the fractions equal three over ten equals y over 750. Or, or we can say 750 equal 3 over 10. It's the same. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's the same. Huh. Y over 750 equals 3 over 10. Now, what's the next step, guys? Cross product. Yeah, let's cross the product then. Y multiply 10, not Y 10. Not y multiply 10, not 10 multiply y. All of these know y multiply 10 is 10 y. 10 y. Huh. 10 y. Y multiply 10, 10 y. Equal comes down. Don't forget the equal. 750 multiply 3. Now I need to find this multiplication how much? 750 multiply 3, grade 4. 750 multiply 3, do your multiplication. Now if you multiply it, the answer will be 2250. I don't know why. 2250. Let's check. I'm afraid. Let's check. 3 by 0, 0. 3 by 5, 15. 3 by 7, 21. With 1. I multiply these two numbers, the answer here. 
Now I need to find the value of y. I will divide both sides on the number which is besides the variable. y equals, if you divide, you can cross the zeros, the answer will be what? 225 students should be using their cell phone out of 750. Now, I, I, showed, I showed you before the final answer, which is 225. Now, I want you guys to write these steps here, under this, in this space. Write these steps quickly, guys. Write these steps quickly. While you are writing, if you have any question about this check question, put your hand in, please. If you have any question about this check question, put your hand. Close your camera, mister. Close your camera. Shut the door. Najem. Najem, your hand. I saw it. Najem, put your hand, Ashuf. Mm -hmm. Your question. Mister? Yes. And yeah, always the question we will make with steps. Yeah. Okay. These steps, which one is better? These steps or the book steps, Yanajan? This step. These are easier. So easy. Just put your fraction, your fraction, cross the product, divide, final answer. Okay. That's it. I want you to use these steps. This is a new way. This is different from the book way. Yalla, write it. So you understand it in your homework. Yalla. Quickly, guys, I have two minutes only. Finish your steps, and this is your homework. Questions one, two, three, only. Tomorrow, we will do more examples, and we will finish the homework. Tomorrow, we will do more examples, and we will finish the homework. Today's homework, only these three questions in page 45. Read the question very well, understand it very well, but your refractions very well, equal, cross the product, find the answer, or divide. Any questions? Thank you so much. Isam, you can stop the recording now. Isam?